last Monday you said you wanted some clean score sheets, and I guess your your guys were listening because that's, that's what happened. I mean, talk about a couple of games here and the progress that we've seen here in the last week. Well, you know, exactly that. You know, it all starts with defending. You know, I don't think it's much different in any sport. You know, you start with good defense, and that's usually, uh, you know, that's what Cal Poly's been, been known for the last few years is being a very, very hardworking, disciplined, organized defensive team and tough to break down. And um, I think when the guys commit to that, our team commits to that, we're, we're, we're a good team. We're a very good team, and uh, we need to keep that up. And uh, the big one this week, obviously, with, with Santa Barbara. Um, just tell us about, you know, what's going to go into this game. <clears throat> well, you know, um, obviously they're a very good team, a uh, very dynamic team with a lot of good attacking players. Um, but you know what? At the same time, uh, they're, they're a beatable team. And uh, we're going to go down there and formulate a good game plan and, and look to execute. And uh, we're excited about it. I mean, they're the, you know they're the highest scoring team in the Big West, almost two and a half goals per game. So, with, with the hopefully new and improved defense from you guys, I mean, they're, they're going to be tested. And so, is that a concern that your defense is really going to be te contesting a very good offensive team? Absolutely. Yeah. No, we're going to have to be very good as a unit. We're going to have to be very good individually. We're going to have to be very good. And uh, you know, the other the other best way to defend is to attack. And uh, you know, we've we're going to look to to go at them as well. And um, you know, ask questions of them as well. And, uh, or, you know, we've had 40 shots in the last two games, which is a good indication that we're, you know, we're finding a little bit of a rhythm and a groove and, and uh, partnerships on the field. And so I think uh, we're going to be attacking as well. When you, get, when you beat them a couple of years ago, it was kind of a breakthrough moment. Um, it was a breakthrough for this program. Um, really put you on the map. I mean, a win down there in their place. Um, they'll be top ten this this week if they're down already. What they, anyway, uh, I mean, what would that mean for, you know for you guys to, to well, go down there and win? And win personally, a game it so. would mean a lot. You know, <laughs> um, you know, I've I've tied them twice down there. At Cal Poly in my time here at Cal Poly, we've tied them there twice, and uh, we haven't beat them there yet. So, you know, we were real close a couple times. Um, but yeah, a win down there would be fantastic. And you know, we've been saying this all along that uh, you know we put together a very tough preseason schedule to get us ready for the Big West, and 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 now this is this is it for us. You know, we, we look to take these games like like uh, you know they're all World Cup finals in the Big West. You know, so um, you know we feel we feel good. You know, we feel good, and, and we're excited. And when you go down there, I mean, what's it like? I mean, you've got tortillas flying, I and mean, you've got thousands of you know, gaucho locos. I mean, it's it's. It's a spectacle probably unlike any other, I'd imagine, or a few, few others in, in college soccer, and especially you now with, with the rivalry. I mean, what, what's the, the whole atmosphere surrounding the game like as well? You know, honestly, honestly, it, uh, it doesn't really affect us one way or the other. You know, I mean, our guys are used to playing in front of big crowds, and, uh, you know, if anything, it, it, it's, it's more fun, more exciting to play. You know, I don't think anyone's intimidated by it at all. Um, you know, um, at least that's that's our mindset. You know, we're we're excited to play there. The bigger, the better. Good. Just was my first chance to get to see Junior. I heard you talk about him two weeks ago. Um, just kind of talk about what he's added. I mean, he in four games he's already second on the team in shots. I mean, just kind of talk about what having him on the field has added to the team. Well, you know, he's he's a he's a very good um, he's a very good soccer player. Very good passer of the ball. He's got you know great skill. You know he's getting shots. We just need to get you know more of those shots on frame, quality shots, and we're just getting him ingrained into the team. But yeah, he adds an element of uh, of surprise, you know, and he adds somebody that could can can change the game in a moment. And uh, you know every single game he can do that. You know so he's someone that other teams definitely have to have to be aware of and watch or. Or he can he can put one in the back of the net or set up a beautiful pass, so um, it's nice to have him. Now you know the last year, especially with with Pontius and Santa Barbara, he was kind of like their main guy. This year they seem to have a lot of offensive weapons. Just kind of talk about you know as far as depth and, and strength, where this Gaucho team ranks in your previous years. Well, I think they're I think they they have the potential to be the most dynamic 
Santa Barbara team that I've seen in my four years. I mean, I, I think their team speed and their quickness is exceptional, you know, you know, top, top couple in the country, you know, so they have a lot of, lot of great uh, weapons, you know, and sometimes that's more dangerous than just having one guy be the guy like Pontius last year, even though Pontius was, you know, you could focus on him and he'd still find a way to put it in the back of the net. Um, you know, they have a number of weapons. And, uh, you know, so once again, you just need to do a great job individually and collectively to defend. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll work on making it as difficult as possible for them.